Thanks for tuning in. Coming up next, it's Control. We're almost to where we need to be to find our new friend, so that's a relief. What about our other new friend from earlier? Come on. I'm right here. I'm right here, dude. I'm right here, dude. Oh, are you afraid? Oh, no. He's not afraid. He's not afraid. He ain't afraid at all. Make sure to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell for more hilarious content just like this. Enjoy the show! Hello, ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends. Welcome back to Control. Today we are back here. Oh, God. Where the hell are you? Okay, it's close. Going here, so I need to go and do the thing. Close the door and make my way through, through, please, through, please. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, no. What the? Okay, hold on. D dude, really? For real? Oh, God, it's coming this way. Oh, he's coming right for us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you gonna are you, are you gonna stay on that side? Are you gonna be a good little astral plane creature of something? Oh, no, oh, he's angry! He's angry! Okay, running, 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 running. Okay, it's got to be a better way to do this. So last time I swear it was gonna be through that measure, but I guess this is it. Okay, so that's gonna be like that. That's gonna do that. Fine. Fine. Okay, hold on. Ooh, okay, I think that's what I have to do. I think I have to go get him in there. Get him in there first. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me and everything is alright. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. Come on, bro. Come over here. Come and get me. Come and get me. You know you won't. Come on. Come on. Right here. I'm right here, dude. I'm right here, dude. Oh, are you afraid? Oh, no. He's not afraid. He's not afraid. He ain't afraid at all. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, stay right here, dude. Stay right here, dude. Come on, come and get me. Come and get me. Come and get me. Yes, yeah. Come on, a little closer. A little closer. Yes, come through the door. I'm right here. Come on, scaredy cat. Scaredy cat. Get through the door, you scaredy cat. Okay, screw running, 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 running. Maybe I can catch him. 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 Do the thing. And he's in there. He's in there. Yeah, buddy. What's the bureau doing with that thing? Ah, uh, good question, Jesse. Your guess is absolutely as good as mine. But I did it. Rope a dope his ass, and I got him in there. Hell yeah, baby. Someone answer, damn it. We need backup down here. Uh, one sec. Marshall, are you still there? Shit. Oh man. We're so close. We're so close to Venom. Yep, yeah, we're, we're going. We're, we're doing it, Jesse. Hold on. One step at a time, my friend. Hello. Oh. Chuck something into it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Start chucking things into things. Yeah. And ha. Ooh. Wait, wait for my stuff to come back, or can I shoot it? Oh, there we go. Whoa! Whoa! Hi, friend. That hurt. I'm not appreciative of that. Guess who's getting a big-ass cart to the face? You! Ha! I don't know if you were the one that did it or not, but whatever. You're going to feel my wrath. And he's on fire! Ha! Suck it. Okay, who's next? Oh, off in the distance? And... Oh, ouch! That's a chair. Ouch. 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 Oh, ouch. Oh, I need life. I need life. I need life ASAP. No, nobody hurt me. Nobody hurt me. A truce. Truce. A, a truce. We're doing a truce. All right, we're doing a truce. Okay, truce. Yeah, sounds good. Truce. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Okay, chuck stuff at you. Chuck stuff at you. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, hi, friend. Die, friend. Ha, 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 ha. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, crap. Not awesome. Not an awesome at all. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, documents. Cool. Oh, God. Running away. Okay. Where are you bastards? Where are you bastards at? Hiding. Hiding. Do, 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 do. Going up the stairs and around the corner. Gonna hit you in the face with stuff. Hello. Ha! <laughs> the screams. Beautiful. And... Ooh. Got a few of these guys. Ha! There we go. Oh, did I kill him? Yes. Oh, please. More kill shots. 
Oh, I wonder if I... What do, what do I need to do to get my damage upgraded again? One more and I for sure got one-hit kills every time. Where are you? And a bag! I said bag. There you go. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else? Yes, I see you. And a whiteboard! Yeah! Get some! Oh, crap. Where are y'all coming from? Stop it! I have a, had enough with you. Let's see. Fire hydrant. Ooh, I love these. Gonna make a splody! <gasps> I missed! How the hell did I miss? Try it again! Yeah, suck it. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, that is a biggest boyus. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. Okay, running away. Running away. Changing battle strategy. Getting health. Okay, cool. Fine. Whew. All right. Slowly. Let's breathe. Take a minute. See what's going on. Catch my breath. All right. Try this one more second. Just one quick second. Hanging on. Okay, I'm a little more calm, a little more collected. But I got this dude hanging above me. Can I get a couple of cheeky shots in? No. Well, maybe. Nope, okay. All right, that's fine. Take one of these monitors. All right, stick your head out. Stick your... What? I did, I did not throw it. What the hell happened there? I did not throw the thing. Is somebody messing up my steez? All right, that's it. You can't mess up my steez for long. Ha! Ooh. Oh, that dude is uh, tanking these heads. Screw you. Just shoot and 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 shoot, 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 shoot. Wow. That dude has some health. Oh, God. Running, 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 running. Okay. I gotta find some heavy objects to throw at him. Like this trash can? Eh, not so much. I need, like, a big printer. I need, like, a big old office printer or something. Or a chair? Yeah, take a seat. And... Bah! There you go. Last guy here. Please be the last guy. Please be the last guy. Is that the last guy? I think that's the last guy. All right. Oh, don't worry, Marshall. I'm coming. Just let me cleanse this control point. Hell yes. Making progress. Love to see it. Ah, beautiful. I don't think I've gained any ability points or anything to really do much with. Uh, Jesse, you good? Usually don't take this long to get up after cleansing control point. Mm-hmm. To the luck department. Everybody to the luck department. All right. That's kind of neat. I would love to do stuff to increase my luck. Yeah, one of those stats that uh, people seem to really not put a whole lot into, but it's certainly big. Okay. Astral blip. Ooh, we're getting all sorts of new materials there. All right. Luck department. Check and check. Um, I guess I'm just going to keep going down this way. I mean, the game is, you know, pretty linear. I might as well keep following the line. Ooh. Anybody? Oh. Okay, cutscene. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. Oh, we sure do. That, right? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Jesse. All right, so while that... Oh, hi! Oh, you? Really? Oh, God. Go away. Yeah, suck it. Suck a dick for a chair. You know what I mean. Ha! Yeah, fire, 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 fire. Okay. Get... Come on, Powers. Come back. Come back, Powers. And... Ha! No. No, 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 no. You die. You die. You die and you go to hell. And... Wait. Oh! <laughs> right in his head. Oh, hey! I am taking care of my own accomplishments, mister. Let me bask in my glory. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do the control point one more time just to save. I didn't need to do that for the health because I picked up a bunch of blue stuff. Ooh, actually, I'll go in the elevator in a second, Marshall. Give me just a minute. Clear this out. Oh, this is... Oh! Okay. This is where I started. All right, cool. Cool. I get it now. All right, sweet. Round and around we go. Let's go to the luck department. So now we sit here and wait. Hello, Jesse. How are you? I see the top of your head. Staring off into space. I can't make her look in the camera at all. I just gotta be... Okay, and where we go? Oh, we're going to the side. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, no, damn it. Don't take me back down. Son of a bitch. 
I didn't know what I was doing. Oh god, now I gotta ride the elevator for a third time. Oh boy, I am the best. I did not know that it was gonna open up to the side. I don't think I've ever seen an elevator that has doors, you know, on, you know, kitty corner to each other. I've seen some where it goes on the opposite side, but not like this. Oh, hi. Hello, actual friend. Just down the hall. Which way? Probably that way. Are you luck and probability? Yeah, cool. Oh, man. I would love to be able to do that. Like, uh, if there was, like, one wish that I could do or, like, there's, like, a ring that grants any power... Oh, hello, friend. Um, what? So many people sleeping on the job. And in the bathroom, no less? For shame. Hope it's sanitized. Looks pretty clean. But yeah, like uh, like I said, if I got one wish or one like ring with a certain power, if I had the ability to do anything, any superhuman ability, it would definitely be to alter and change probabilities. So, like... Oh, 100% chance that this stupid thing is going to happen. Or 0% chance that this big catastrophic thing is going to happen. Stuff like that. I'd be able to game the system and life would be great. Oh, I just thanks for letting me in. Even I don't have a level 4. You guys fine? Oh. Oh boy, looks like uh, th these are the casualties of war. This is... Uh... There you are. I was starting to worry. Hold on, I'm taking this plant. I don't know what the... Wait, I can take it and I can put it back? Okay, well that's kind of neat. We got the luck department as a four-leaf clover. You know what? I think I will take the four-leaf clover. I'm going to go ahead and go down that path. I'm pretty sure there's some butterfly effect that's going to kick into place, but I don't care. <gasps> Speaking of lucky, the lucky cat. Beam. <laughs> yes, wave your hand with the lucky cat. Uh, yes, for those who don't know the story where the lucky cat comes from... Um, very, very old tales in, uh, uh, I don't know what era of uh, China. It's like uh, some generals hanging around with his troops doing whatever. <gasps> no! The luck's not supposed to run out of the horseshoe. Put, put it back. Put it back. Put it back. There we go. Yeah, see, so you got the little diagram. That is bad. That is good. So yeah, general is out with his men or whatever, and there's like some people that are trying to assassinate him, obviously because he's an enemy general. And, um... So he goes and does his thing, and all of a sudden he sees this cat in a tree wave to him. Gets distracted by the cat, just enough so that an arrow that was fired directly at him completely misses. It's like, oh my god, that's so awesome. And that's the lucky cat. Hi, Marshall. Good to see you. Let's talk about some stuff. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. Thank you. I'm thanks. Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Nice. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Oh, you mean this wiggly thing in just my hand? Jesse. Yeah. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. None of this phases her. No, she's been here for a while. She is a really? tenured employee. Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're going to survive this attack. Mm -hmm. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. Well, you got I mean, me. She seems to know what's going on here. Oh, yeah, she's competent she and cool. No, about Dylan. Maybe, maybe not. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Probably. Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Yeah, I mean, come on. You've you had this job for like Rangers, literally two, move. three hours or so. So yeah, definitely. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. What, uh, did I see something else around here, or am I blind? Nope. There's nothing else. Okay, cool. So they're talking about stuff. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I got another Newton's Cradle here. Now, the Newton's Cradle is hitting that horseshoe thing, but I can't adjust the horseshoe. It's on its side. The horseshoe's on its side. I guess that's, you know, okay? Whatever. All right. Now, I'm going to look this up later. There's got to be something to do with all these lucky things and uh, some type of effect they have on the game or on me. Ooh, I will take care of you guys in a minute. Hold on. I have to investigate the shelter. Do, do, do. There's a box just waiting for me inside. Right? It's a box? There it is. Aha. In the front corner for some reason. Boom. Uh, another astral blip. Sweet. All right. Going along. Let's find some people to throw things at. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold on. 
Da 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 da. Jump and we. Yeah, well, we're, well, we're going, Jesse. We're, we're gonna help our friends. Don't you worry. Ha! Oh ho ho! Love the explosions. I need to get rid of that freaking thing of a dude. Ouch! Hey, I am trying to do something. You die, asshole. Ha! Yes. Oh, the one-hit kills are phenomenal. Oh, distant shot. Yeah, keep charging me. Keep charging me. Keep charging me. Yeah, see what happens. See what happens. Eh, eh. Where's the enemies at? No, those are good guys. Those are good guys. Get over here, bad guy. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Hello. Ha! <laughs> oh, ouch. Hey, no. Only I may cause explosions around here. You can just... God, there you go. Plop. There you go. Bip. And one more. And ha! And bip! Yeah! The old one-two combo. Chuck a thing at him and shoot him in the face. Who's left? Okay, you're a good guy, you're a good guy. You're a bad guy! Ha! <laughs> oh, this is never going to stop being fun. This is so great. Ooh. Get out of the thing. Watch the sides. Get away from my friends. Ouch! Ouch! Are you okay, buddy? You okay? Ouch! I'm not okay. Oh, I'm not okay. Oh, I'm not okay. Oh, I'm dead. Damn it! I was trying to run. How dare you not let me run? So I lost stuff, and then I gained stuff? How the hell did I gain stuff at the end? Was that like, oh yeah, those are the last guys. I killed them, but they killed me. So I'd lose. It's a draw. God, it's like freaking Korea all over again. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Let me fast forward. Let me kill some guys, and we'll be back. Hold on, hold on. All right, we are back in the thick of it. I am going to just dodge this guy who almost snuck up behind me. Oh, homie, you're ouch. He still got me. He still got me with his rockets. All right, cool, cool. Love to see it. All right, next one, you're not going to be so lucky. I'm going to get you before you can get me. Where's the enemy at? Where's the enemy at? Where you at? Why are you shooting at me? Is he behind me? He is behind me. Ha! Eat a bench, whore. Uh, oh, oh explodey guys. Oh, God, I got the explodey guys. Explodey guys. Chuck stuff at him. Explode you guys. Yeah. yeah, explode each other. Explode each other. Ha ha. More explode you guys. Die, 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 die. Just explode. Now. Why the hell won't you explode? Seriously. Ha! There we go. Back it up. Back it on up. Okay. Woo. That it? We good? Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, that was pretty intense at the end. Hello, boys. Nice to see you. You guys are doing okay? Uh, looks like we got a couple of casualties, but for the most part, everything's fine. Oh, this control point thing gets a neat little angle and cutscene. Cool. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, Nuggets. Pyrokinesiology Chief Lewis. Oh, no. Oh, no. The Chief is on a rampage. Must hit him with stuff. Oh, he's reshielding? Oh, I gotta be constantly kicking his ass. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him with a thing and the stuff and I shoot him. Actually, let me get close and scatter shot his ass. Scatter. Come on, recharge. Thank you. Bam. Bam. Yes, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, got him. Got him. You, you, you need to die. You need to die, friend. Yes. Anybody left? Oh, there's a couple. Yeah. Sick. Him. You. Wait. Oh, right there. Okay. And. Wham! Yeah. Okay. Now is that everybody? Okay. Good. All right. Hi. Hi. Hi, guys. How you doing? Everybody fine? Good. Uh, you didn't lose too many friends. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Control point. Cleanse it. No crazy camera angles. All right. Good. Well, we got some red around us. That was kind of weird. But there we go. We are returning the building back to normal. Yes, 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 yes. We might, you might say we're getting everything under control. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, let's see. Ooh, more of the shelter. Ooh, and there's more stuff around. Yeah, I gotta scour the area to make sure I've got everything. Into the thing go. Shiggity boop ba. Shiggity boop ba. Oh my god, we just keep on getting more reading materials. We're probably gonna end up reading some here in a little bit. You know, as is, you know, per tradition, around here we're going to read some stuff. So, let's just do one more quick sweep of the area. One more quick little sweepy deep. I'm pretty sure I've gone everywhere that I shot enemies at. But just to make sure, going to run this way. 
Got this door over here to go into. Actually, yeah, before I go further, we're going to check on this door, and then we're going to check some reading materials. Ooh, Synchronicity Lab. This isn't where I need to go, right? No, no, other stuff. Okay, so yeah, we're going to check stuff out here in just a minute. Um, let's see what we got here. Right, so like for our weapon mods here, what else can we choose from? Uh, ooh, it's copies. Ammo per shot, minus seven, minus six. We'll go ahead and goodbye to you. Then we have all these things. Ooh, here's some things for spin. 15 accuracy, 14 accuracy. Goodbye. And then I think that covers that. We got the two dudes there. Actually, let me double check to see if I should change. Ammo refund from chance on hit plus damage. What else can I do here? Ammo cost per shot. Oh, maybe. Weapon armor damage. Ooh, yes. Um, let's go ahead and switch that for the damage. Yeah, there we go. Then, in terms of ammo refund, I think that's probably pretty good. Headshot damage, no. Energy gain from headshots, no. Then cost per shot and damage. Maybe I can double damage. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to damage on damage. There we go. Yes. Damage up. Enemy armor damage up. Sick. So, I can't do anything on top of that. Whatever. It's fine. That's the one I'm already... Wait a minute. <gasps> I didn't realize... Projectiles shattered to three. Oh my god, yes. Oh, please give me three projectiles. Oh, hell yes. Um, and the damage. No, no, no. Until I get a second slot, definitely it's going to stay on the extra projectiles. Personal mods. Um, let's see. That's the same. Goodbye. And then this boy is 27 versus 20. Yep, see ya. And then I've got this one, health and health. 15 versus 23. Yep, see ya. And then these here, same launch energy. Bam. All right. Cool. Cleared a bit of stuff out of there. Assets. We got a lot of things here and there. Missions. Who cares about missions? Ooh. Ooh. I need to look that up. I had no idea that was a thing I could do. I will switch to that here in a second. But first, it's time to look through the things. We're probably going to end the episode right after this. Maybe we'll touch on a couple of things. But yes, the Hiss Cluster. I hate those things. Hiss Clusters are unique in that they are concentrated manifestations of Hiss Resonance without the need of a host. Hiss Clusters are dense spherical compressions of Hiss Resonance that serve support functions in the hierarchy of Hiss Entities. The clusters are capable of replenishing his hosts with infusions of resonance. This does not heal any physical damage inflicted on the organic hosts, but rather seems to rejuvenate them, allowing them to endure more bodily harm than normally possible. Alright, so it's not a regen, it's just a fake kind of whatever. Kind of like the, uh, the pills in Left 4 Dead. Yeah, there we go. The fact that the Hiss makes an effort to preserve its corrupted hosts underlines a level of awareness and discretion that was previously just speculation on my part. Can this entity be considered an individual or simply an extension of the Hiss as a whole? Capturing one alive would be quite interesting. Sure, whatever you say, dude. And the Hiss warped. Um, who is this guy? I don't remember running into him. Was he the boss? Was, was he the head chief person that I killed? Maybe. The Hiss warped wield only paranatural abilities similar to drifters. They are able to telekinetically shield themselves with nearby material and launch objects at their target. Almost like me. Maybe a little better, I'd love to shield myself. These entities are particularly destructive and difficult to kill, possibly indicating a greater internal reinforcement of Hiss Resonance. Why do certain Hiss display paranatural abilities while others rely on Bureau firearms? Do certain corrupted Hiss entities have less potential than the hosts that become Hiss Warped? Or is this perhaps an indication of evolution or maturation of the Hiss Corruption? Are there other stages of evolution yet to be found? What if the Hiss inhabits a host for a month? A year? Do hosts expire after a certain amount of time? Does the corruption become too strong for an organic body to endure? Only time, and well-documented observation, will tell. Ooh. The burning questions are being asked, which are actually pretty good. Ooh, look at some reports. Uh, astral knots. Yes, the guy's going to the astral plane. It's, it's a horrible play on words, but eh, whatever, he describes it. This report serves as an introductory guide to the Astral Knot program, including candidate requirements, training practices, and astral research procedures. Astral Knots are chosen by individuals who explore and document the astral plane by making physical contact with the X-ray light box, which I'm going to investigate here in a bit, uh, in the hypnosis lab. 
the section of the parapsychology division. Physical and psychological training is vital for the repeated transition between places known as dives. After each dive, astronauts must undergo a something session in the cognitive recording chairs to record their experience in the plane, which I will look at the procedures list in a minute. Gathered data has conclusively proven that something within the astral plane vary widely between astronauts. On rare occasions, these dives can result in losses, even often occurring when teams encounter aggressive astral entities. Refer to file... Ooh... I actually have a file name, 829-1838 for full report. Sweet. Is that what this is? It doesn't say, but uh, yeah, recording chair procedures. Before using the recording devices, please ensure the following safety measures are met. Ensure the volunteer is securely fastened in the chair. Ensure the hood is placed over the volunteer's head. This will prevent the volunteer from taking in visual stimuli during the recording process, which can lower the quality of captured footage. This also prevents recording technicians from viewing the volunteer's face, which undergoes multiple spasms during recording that some consider upsetting. That's an understatement. Check if the volunteer is comfortable. Activate the recording apparatus. After recording is complete, check volunteer cognitive ability using the provided questionnaire. Do not be alarmed if the length of recorded footage exceeds the volunteer's period of unconsciousness. Astral dilation is a known issue. Any problems arise during this process, contact your supervisor. Cool. Um, a threshold, kids. Well, I saw the little video. That was weird, but cool. At the recent arrival of the something, there are certain glaring gaps in the Bureau's ability to educate and raise a young whoever. There are no other somethings for something to play with, and something is expected to learn about a frightening new concept. Maybe someone? Yeah. There are no other children? Maybe for Dylan? Educate and raise a young Dylan. Yeah, no other children for Dylan to play with. Maybe... Maybe it's children and Dylan. Ooh, snap. Uh, something will require a slow, something-friendly introduction to paranatural topics. With this in mind, allow me to introduce The Threshold Kids, a television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explain the dangers of living at the Bureau, but also show the fun side of the paranatural. Totally. Budget would be minimal. I took a few puppet-making courses at my local community center. We can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. It will be good for morale, and I guarantee someone will respond positively to these videos. We can't expect a something to enjoy lectures and people in lab coats. But as television has proven for years, something love puppets. Astral Exhibition. And we got Groupthink, if I can remember Groupthink. Just two more here, and then we might call it a day. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. we got so many things to learn. So Astral Plane Exhibition. The Astral Exhibition was originally built for the astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sounds of the astral plane before diving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but someone was being stingy with the budget. However, once we discovered the something, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the somethings' behavior. Ooh, I see the apostrophe at the end. Yeah, somethings' behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it just breaks everything we put in front of it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah, that was that thing that we ran into. Addendum. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity, now known as Astral Spike. Outdated terms in this report have been redacted. So that's the Astral Spike that we were going up against. Ooh, nice. Utilization of paranatural elements, rethinking, groupthink. The study extends the work of Irving Janus, Robert Barron, and others by proposing strong, casual links between groupthink and the passive or active use of telepathy. To prove these connections, the parapsychology department carried out variations of Solomon Ash's original conformity experiments using a telepathic individual as a subject. See experiments, whatever, for details. Extensive, qualitative, and quantitative data resulting from these experiments was then used to identify telepathic interference within the group. Further empirical findings suggest measures can be taken to safeguard against telepathic influence and behaviors by engaging in something. Rather boldly, this paper stands to revolutionize decades of groupthink theory and provide new directions for further experimentation on the mind, including manipulation of something and something. Oh boy. Well, let's go to multimedia. We can clear that out. Astral spike. Is that that weird screech? Oh, it's a video. Okay, cool. And case files. We have one unread. All right, let's do one. Ooh, rubber duck supplement. The rubber duck. Discovered in the home of Agent Something after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck. According to Agent Somebody, the matter was ignored, believed to be the result of a child's imagination, until he began to hear the quacking at night. 
After discovering the item hidden in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the Bureau for study. Update. It was discovered that Agent Whoever was bringing home paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent Whoever has been terminated. Yo. That's a scurry. That's a scurriness. So, real quick. Investigate the object in the hypnosis lab. Is, wait, is this hypnosis? I forgot where I stepped into. Toggle map. Uh, no, this is synchronicity lab. Where's... Oh, yeah, okay, that is where I'm going. Yeah, where is the hypnosis lab? Probably somewhere else. Okay, so real quick, we're going to make our way to the hypnosis lab for the next go-around. Sorry, Ben. Um, and then we'll figure that out, and then we'll go back to the main quest. Uh, ritual office? No, I want the hypnosis lab, damn it. Show me the lab. Um, ooh, maybe through here? Uh, protective studies? No. Dang it. All right, well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take care of that on the next episode. Uh, so, until then, thank you for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a like on the video. And hit that notification bell so you know what videos are coming out and when. Really does help. We are recording. We'll start off with that next time. Uh, leave a comment down below and share this with your friends and loved ones. So, until next time, take it easy.